I picked up these Canada West Morby boots just over a week ago from Herbert's Boots. I tried to clean them up as best as I could for the sake of the video, but you will see some scratches and creases, uh, which is just due to the wear I put on them. They've been out in the woods. I've had them covered in mud, you know, scraped up against rocks and roots and all that sort of thing. So um, you'll see some of that, that wear on there, but it's not a reflection of the quality of the boot. It's just to be expected as you put your boots through uh, some wear and some use. So I wanted to go through some of the details, uh, some of the information that I've learned about these boots. Uh, I found it kind of difficult to find information. The, the website has a little bit, not very much. Um, there were a few posts on Reddit as well. So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll share what I've got, share, share some close-ups in case you've been looking at these boots but weren't quite sure. Um, Sizing-wise, they do run big. I find they, uh, they're a half size bigger than my Red Wings. So in a Red Wing, I'm a 9E, and these I went down to an 8.5, uh, which again, uh, the folks at Herbert's really helped me out with that sizing, and, it, and it's been perfect. Probably my best fitting boot, I would say. These are a double E. There are some on a single E last, uh, as well as some on a triple E last. But they all come in wider width, so if you've got a wider foot, uh, like I do, this might be a really good option. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the heel and go from there. So it's on a built block heel. There are a couple leather lifts there and a stippled rubber top lift, which is a really nice look. Got that stacked heel, which looks great. It's on a Bibram 430, which is a great uh, sort of industry standard outsole that you'll see on a lot of these heritage boots. It's got great grip. Works really well in the four seasons that uh, that I uh, get here where I live. I do find that the lugs will kind of collect small gravel. Um, big stones and that usually don't get lodged in there, but it's the little little dirt and grit that will uh, get stuck in there. But again, great sole, really good all-purpose. There's a 270-degree Goodyear welt. All of their footwear is Goodyear welted, so it can be recrafted when that time comes. Good stitch density, um, really good solid construction. I'm impressed with the quality here. Um, there's some nice broguing is a, is a really neat detail on this model where the uh, where the quarter is sewn onto the vamp. It's very nice. Uh, there is cork uh, on the interior in, the, in where the rib tape cavity is and a uh, steel shank. And that was not on the website, but I did email and ask, and they confirmed that for me. Um, the leather, again, uh, an email from the company is pecan tumbled, uh, but there's no information on where it's sourced um, or how it's tanned. So they were really great, emailed within the same day uh, to let me know it is sourced from a tannery in Mexico. Um, they have had previous years where there uh, were runs with some Horween Chrome Excel, which um, the, the pictures I've seen look really great. Uh, but this is sourced from a tannery in Mexico, as mentioned. It's a chrome tan leather, and then after that process, it is packed in with some specific oils. And um, that's similar to the, uh, the, the SB foot leathers where uh, they're chrome tan, but then they, they put in some oils to help them be more water resistant and resilient and you do get that same feel. Um, it's It's got a little bit of a waxy feel but it's nice and soft, really thick and sturdy, um, really a nice leather, leather and the way it's been breaking in has been really nice as well. It's been tough um, but um, as much as it uh, it's not the most enjoyable process to break in a pair of boots, it does let you know that they're really solid and uh, that they're going to last you. So that's the leather. Um, as mentioned, it's got a, a double E width, so it's more of a rounded toe. Um, brass reinforced eyelets, comes with cotton laces. There is a contrasting tongue, and in some of the pictures, and I'm not sure how well the video will show it, it, it looks almost black, but it is a dark brown. Um, and just to be aware, it is a thin, uh, and it, it feels like a cheaper leather on the tongue. Um, the interior is fully leather lined and it's a really nice soft leather. 
it's been very comfortable. I haven't had any blisters or anything. Um, so that's been really, really nice and comfortable and impressive. The insole is leather, but there is some cushioning in there. So I'm not sure if that's like a Texon or Poron or, you know, one of those types of products where it's uh, a leather insole, but there is some cushioning. So it's a bit soft. But uh, even after a few days, I could start to feel my foot imprinting in there and it's become more firm, which I actually prefer. Um, there is a heel cushion in there that's removable, um, but I left it in. I thought, well, let's see how this, uh, how this plays out. And it's been really comfortable as well, like that. Um, the back strip is really cool on these. There's a neat curvature to it, which looks great. And the stitching is really nice um, and just perfectly done and stitched into the back strip is this really cool, uh, almost looks like a dagger or blade kind of shape, which I uh, don't have anything else like that. So really happy to have those. Uh, overall, really uh, happy with how these fit, really happy with how they're breaking in um, and impressed with the quality impressed with the uh, the construction of these really a great boot so if you are have been looking at the Canada West Morby boots hopefully this has been helpful um, I first heard about them about a year and a half ago and it's been a bit of a journey trying to find uh, the right fit find the right boots but now that I have uh, definitely no regrets really happy to have these and these are gonna be um, a really regular warm boot in my rotation. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, thanks very much.